Water uh, fuels our economy. It sustains our livelihood. We are all connected by water. Water is water is water, and uh, there is no new water. We need to rally around a single resource uh, that, uh, that is very critical to our very survival. We face an extraordinary crisis in the country. In one case, what we deliver is vital to all life. We're not able to deliver you water every single day and then take it back once it's used and clean it before it goes back into the ecology. All life is in peril. The Clean Water America Alliance believes it's time we change the way we look at water. The biggest challenge has always been how divided the water sector is. We've got groundwater, drinking water, wastewater, now we've got storm water, we've got watersheds. There's a need to bring together the different voices. The Clean Water America Alliance can truly help in that regard, to bring us all together to collaborate for a more sustainable future. I think what the Alliance is doing is really raising the awareness of you know, how we can begin to achieve the solutions to get what we need. Even if you look at the prize itself, you know, this bowl that we have selected as the prize, and you consider uh, what has gone into it, you know, earth, wind, fire, uh, water, all coming together to produce an incredible work of art that is truly symbolic of what the Alliance is all about. To raise awareness, the Alliance created the U.S. Water Prize. It's more than just a ceremony. It, it is a way to raise awareness, to provide information, to showcase the winners, those who are challenging old paradigms and coming up with ways, ways that respect water and, and, and try to solve the quantity and quality problems that we face. Five winners, selected from dozens of candidates nationwide, standout performers who embody the Alliance's goals. Los Angeles is doing a stellar job uh, integrating water resources, from stormwater to wastewater to uh, being a true champion of water conservation. We have the Milwaukee Water Council, which has taken business interests, has taken universities, municipalities, and created a world water hub. New York is helping the country shift the paradigm from gray infrastructure to green infrastructure and doing it on a massive scale. The Pacific Institute, which is internationally renowned and has done such great work in educating the public, policy makers, decision makers on key issues like the water energy nexus. The Great Rivers uh, Research and Education Center is helping uh, connect the public kids, young and old, to understand what great river ecosystems are all about. They've achieved the new gold standard for water sustainability, exemplifying the Alliance's three-tiered mission, collaboration, innovation, and integration. They're models, and that's what's so exciting about the U.S. Water Prize. Well, the opportunity we have here is to share what these leaders are doing so that other municipalities can study their example and either build on it or follow it. The idea of elevating the work and the innovations that are happening so that people know and understand and can see and aspire to the same level of creativity and performance and efficiency and effectiveness that some of the leaders can do, that raises everybody's boat, to use a water analogy. I think the Alliance's key role is to create that, that forum for that group of people to get together. And having a, a, a big tent is, um, I think, the only way we're going to get to this vision we have for One Water. Recognition of this year's water champions extends all the way to the White House. As the inaugural participants in this contest, this year's U.S. Water Prize winners are visionaries who are setting the standard for all future winners. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for your hard work. And the Alliance thanks the generous sponsors of this year's Water Prize, highly respected organizations which also have a big stake in the nation's water future. The Alliance's Ben Grumbles believes this prize will inspire others to step up to the challenge. Nowhere, and not until now, have we had a, an opportunity to really highlight the achievements of 
winners, innovators, and, and true movers when it comes to water. And I, we're gonna, we are gonna raise the bar, and we're, and we're gonna see cities and private sector organizations and watershed groups look and listen and compete.